Christmas, a season of love, a season of giving, and a joyous occasion where all the family come together. We are all waiting for Christmas as we are nearing the season of love. Well, we have a story which talks about love, giving, and O. Henry has beautifully portrayed the love of giving in his short story, The Gift of Magi. The Gift of the Magi, written by O. Henry, a famous short story writer. This piece of work is well known for the plot and the ironical climax. Before I move into the story, let me give you a very brief introduction to O. Henry. O. Henry, whose actual name is William Sidney Porter, well known under his pseudonym O. Henry. He lost his mother when he was a small child. He went to be with his paternal grandmother and he grew up with his grandmother and his aunt. As he was interested in reading, he read everything from classic novels to anything that came his way. At the age of 19, he worked at a drugstore and after two years of working at the drugstore, he became a licensed pharmacist. While he was at the pharmacy, he was also into drawing pictures of people's faces who came there and thus earned money and a lot of interest. As a small boy, he was also into working in different sections. He was a shepherd, he was a babysitter, he was a cook, and in everything he had his hands on. And finally, he came to work at a bank, and after working there for a few years, he was caught for corruption. He was caught and finally, this corruption led him into prison. His life in prison was a turning point. While at prison, he was able to write 14 short stories under many pseudonyms. He had to make sure that he wrote in a different name as he was a convict. And he feared that people would never accept the stories written by a person who was in prison. And therefore, the pseudonyms that he had. And the well-known pseudonym was O. Henry. And that is how we all co come to know him as O. Henry. He gained popularity as O. Henry, as I've already mentioned. And he took up this task of writing a short story every week and published it in the New York World magazine. And this period, 1902, this is the year which gained him popularity as a prolific writer. And he was also able to uh, publish almost 381 short stories. All of it which are quite interesting, they are quite witty and there are twists and climaxes. This is a very small description about O. Henry. Let's get into the short story, The Gift of the Magi. The Gift of the Magi 
was initially written under the title Gifts of Magi. And this is a short story which came under this magazine, the New York World magazine, and was published in 1905. This was initially published in 1905, and later in 1906, this was republished and was included in an anthology. The anthology titled The Four Million. So initially it was published in 1905 and then it was republished in 1906 under the anthology The Four Million. This is a short story which most of us are familiar with. We would have heard this short story over and over, especially during Christmas time, where the story talks about sharing, giving and love. Let's see what the story is all about. There are two characters. In fact, there are only two characters in this short story. Jim and Della. James Dillingham Young. Jim and his wife Della. They were quite poor and they had bare minimum to sustain themselves every other day. But this time, as it was Christmas, Della made it a point that she had to gift something very special to her husband, Jim. Let's look at their flat. They have a very shabby couch. There's a letter box in front of their house where no letters would go. They have a doorbell which no mortal finger would coax to press on it. Well, this is how they live. They have to give their rents every month and every, every month they find it quite difficult to even uh, give out their rents. But yet, they are happy with each other. And as it was Christmas, Della had to gift him something very special. She counted thrice and she found there was $1.87 with her. $1.87. O. Henry says, and it was the eve of Christmas. Della was very sad. What can she get with this money, $1.87? The, the general atmosphere of this house, according to uh, O. Henry, is it's made up of sobs, sniffles, and smiles. Well, sniffles predominating. Yet another reason for Della to sniffle because she just had $1.87 with her. She kept on worrying. She didn't know how to go about. She kept looking at the mirror and then she realized that there is something that she could do. Now let's just wait for that. O. Henry mentions that there are two prized possessions in this flat with the Dillingham family. Now, what are these two prized possessions? One is Della's hair. And the other one is Jim's watch, ancestral watch. These were the only two prized possessions in this flat. So while looking at the mirror, Della suddenly feels that she may be able to get the money she wants in order to get the, the gift for Jim. She takes her cap, she takes her hat and runs down the stairs. She goes to a shop where they could sell the hair 
as soon as she enters she asks the madam out there in the shop uh well will you buy my hair and the lady looks at her uh well of course we do buy hair but could you just take out your hat dela takes off her hat and down goes the ripples of cascade as mentioned by o henry about dela's hair this is a prized possession at the very moment that the madam sees dela's hair she says 20 cents dela could not ask for more she said yes right away and she sells her hair for 20 dollars she runs to the store and she knows what jim wants because as i mentioned the second prized possession with them or in this family is jim's ancestral watch which he had or which was carried forward from his grandfather to his father and then to jim o henry mentions that even king solomon would admire this property of his according to o henry with dela's hair even the beautiful queen of sheba would be so envious with dela's hair and this is what they have with them so we go back again she sells her hair for uh, 20 uh, dollars and she runs to the store and gets exactly what jim wanted what did dela get jim dela got jim a platinum fob chain this platinum fob chain where jim would be able to use it on the watch that he had Della was so very happy because Jim was longing to have such a beautiful chain and she knew that. She bought this for $21. So remember she had $1.87. She sold her hair for $20 and then she buys the platinum fob chain for $21. She is left with 87 cents. She is so happy she is so thrilled and she gets back to her apartment she looks at the mirror and she finds that there's a difference now her next worry oh what would jim think of me will he think that i am a choir girl wouldn't he still love me am i still not pretty these were the small little things that sh- that kept on worrying her but yet dela was so happy she was so joyful that she just couldn't take her eyes from the fob chain and she was so happy that she did this that she cut her hair off for her gym what love she's waiting she's waiting for gym to get back home and she's also waiting to present him this fob chain She can hear the footsteps of Jim coming in after his work very eagerly waiting at the door to welcome Jim. Jim gets in. Well, there's a change of expression on his face. This was not what Della expected. She did kind of wonder whether Jim would have a problem with regard to this but she was sure that jim wouldn't mind she kept on telling jim it's okay my hair would grow up pretty fast it's just a hair it's absolutely fine come it's christmas let's just enjoy let's not think of anything else come and look at what i've got for you i sold this hair just to get the gift for you because i couldn't live through this christmas without getting you a gift and suddenly jim hands over della a small gift why don't you open it della she opens and sees beautiful combs with tortoise shells 
that she adored, that she always wanted and saw at the Broadway street. And Jim says, Della, this is why I didn't have any expression on my face. I got, these, I got this gift so that you would be able to adore your hair. And Della says, oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's, it's Christmas. And they hug each other. She's been waiting for this moment and then Della says, Jim, let me see your watch. Look at what I've got. And then Jim kind of shudders. He says, oh, come on, it's Christmas. Why don't we just move forward? Let's have dinner together. It's Christmas Eve. And then Della is like, come on, I have to show you what I have bought for you. And then Jim says, well, I'm sorry, Della. I had to sell my watch in order to get, get the gift for you because I too couldn't live through this Christmas without getting you a gift. And Della opens the gift in front of Jim and looks at the platinum fob chain. Both of them have two different gifts which is of no value now. Della does not have the hair to use the combs. Neither does Jim have his watch to place the platinum fob chain along with the watch or to tie it along with it. What a waste, right? Well, O. Henry says, we as ordinary people would call them quite foolish. But are they really foolish? Well, let's get back to the title, The Gift of the Magi. It is believed that on Christmas, we love sharing gifts with each other because Jesus Christ was offered gifts by the three wise men. It's these gifts presented by the Magi, which was offered as an offering to baby Jesus. Weren't they wise? Weren't they wise enough to choose the wisest gifts for baby Jesus? Couldn't Jim and Della acted quite wisely? Well, O. Henry says, Won't they be more wise than the wisest than, that we can ever think of? This sharing of gift was true love, pure love, or rather, sacrificial love. Remember I told you they had just bare minimum to sustain themselves. But for this Christmas, they had to make it a point that they would be able to share gifts with each other. And in fact, the best with the little that they had. So one had to sell off her hair and the other one sell off his watch. The only two prized possessions in the Dillingham's family. Did they really have to sell off the prized possession? Well, this is sacrificial love. And this is exactly why O. Henry has titled this The Gift of the Magi, where this is a relevance or we can equate this to baby Jesus or Jesus Christ bearing each of our sins, being born on earth for each one of us sacrificial love. Well, can they be called two foolish children again? As O. Henry has ended this short story, O all who give and receive gifts such as they are wisest, everywhere they are wisest. And this is the reason why we get to hear the story 
every Christmas because it talks about love, it talks about giving, it talks about sharing and it talks about a sacrificial love. You gift others with the little that you have. What a beautiful story. This is a reminder for each one of us too. The Gift of the Magi by O. Henry, the wisest of the wisest, Jim and Della. Thank you.